Welcome back, guys. We are today. We're gonna just jump into some uh, news on the uh, ship token, and uh, yeah, some great, uh, pretty great things happening in the ship world. So let's jump right in. <music> Welcome back, guys. So tonight, I figured I'd do a little uh, update on Shiba Swap or uh, the Shiba Inu token and their new project, the Shiba Swap. But uh, looks like their founder Rayoshi uh, posted a new uh, post on their uh, new site. It's called all hail the Shiba dot medium dot com. So Rayoshi uh, posted this, uh, the link to this uh, site on Twitter. And uh, yeah, so I figured I'd touch base on that. You know, um, the Shiba price has fallen over the last uh, couple of weeks with everything else, but it looks like we're making a little bit of comeback here. The bulls, Seem to be pushing the price up. Uh, let me pan out a little bit here down to the 30 minute. Um, nothing too major, but uh, nothing too concerning either. Really good price. You can pick up. Uh, you can pick up about 700 million coins for about 50 bucks on Crypto.com. So. Uh, this is not financial advice. I'm just, uh, you know, some dude on the internet. But, um, yeah, good price. And, uh, you know, as we're going to see today, uh, Shiba has, you know, quite a few good things in the works for the future. So I'm thinking this has got to be some kind of a good investment, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Uh I would really appreciate some comments and, you know, uh, to hear what your guys' thoughts are on, on Shiba Swap. I mean, it seems like the SHIB army is really growing. And, um, you know, I've heard, I, so I, uh, just so you guys know, you can actually go on to Amazon.com and you can uh, sign up to uh, donate to uh, the uh, you know, to the, to the, their nonprofit organization, they have a, uh, Shiba Inu has a, uh, 5013C nonprofit. So every time you shop on Amazon, money is donated to, um, to rescuing Shiba, Shiba Inu dogs. So pretty cool. I, I went on Amazon and I signed up for it. Uh, just, you know, figured why not? So anyway, it looks like here, uh, he says, I am Ryoshi. He says, I have said from the beginning, I am no one. I am nobody. I am not important. The efforts to unmask my identity, even if successful, would be underwhelming. I am just some guy of no consequence tapping at a keyboard and I am replaceable. I am Ryoshi. So he goes on to say, uh, I do understand the consequences and scope of what I have seeded into motion. I have given you the gift of yourself. It is the process of self-actualization realized through the playing field of blockchain. Usually when we see some project, there is some CEO 
important guy and some tech guy and some roadmap and hence some plebs can bitch at and in their minds make accountable for the success or failings in their life and results of token purchases. With Shiba, we have found from the beginning made very clear that no one is in charge. There is no man accountable, no person responsible, and no entity has the keys to the kingdom. Well, I like that. It's uh, decentralized. Uh, even if the Shiba token mooned and I got m many messages like, Ryo, you must be a billionaire now, haha. -ha. But the reality is, still to this day, I own zero SHIB. Why? Well, if I did, then I can't be who I am. And for now, I know that I have a role to play. I can't be pure and unbiased if I am worried about price up and down and taking profits. Don't worry, the great ship will re reward me in other ways, I guess. The end result of this is that you are responsible. When people ask me questions with expectations, I always send the question back to them. Okay, when are you going to do this thing that you just asked me? This method makes some uncomfortable because of inherent pre-womb entitlement issues in which man does not take responsibility for themselves. Rather, they look to an outside source to give them boon, and if no boon, then to cast blame. Thankfully, there are some that had the ears to listen and heard the call and effect be, you know became Sheba with us. Some are named and you know some are unnamed and equally important. What matters is that we are united in the core of the vision being Sheba as the pure actualization of a decentralized and perpetual community. My job is to defend the line and the brand. From the beginning it is always the same. Sheba is Sheba and that is all. Anybody who comes and honors the Sheba walks equal with me. Anybody who comes and attempts to leech from the Sheba is a scammer and placed into exile. This is easy to know and then requires constant focus to continue. We have seen so many, but wait, are these guys partnered with Sheba because they said they were? No, of course not. Sheba is Sheba. The only way someone is involved, involved is if they claim Sheba, and if so, then they are that. So quite philosophical for Ryoshi, but you know, definitely feel what he's saying here. He goes on and he says, the reason I am writing this, perhaps philosophical, haha, message is to prepare you, my loved ones, for the inevitable and present, a vision of the future to carry forward as a decentralized community. So uh, Ryoshi, um, you know, reveals a couple things in here and, you know, obviously you guys let me know what you think, but he says, uh, Shiba Swap has championed this cause to create a better swap platform on the Ethereum blockchain for the community. This has started as a fork of sushi and added our own little twists and elements. It is a fully decentralized endeavor that will issue the bone token. Uh, which the supply starts at zero. Uh, so, yeah, I guess uh, you have to dig for coins. Uh, so, hence the reason why it starts at zero. The only coins will be created uh, through mining or digging. And for those that read some uh, FUD, don't worry about it. Shiba Swap is real. And if you don't believe me, then you are officially invited to opt out from this community easy. If you want to know specific questions, ask in the Discord where the devs live. Asking me when Shiba Swap will get you somewhere between an ignore, a GIF, or a link again to the Discord. Again, I am just some guy and not directly involved in the dev. However, they do keep me updated and I trust in the process. So this was kind of interesting and he sheds a little bit of light on the uh, Shibarium. 
uh, the uh, Shiba level two or L2 uh, slash own blockchain. So I thought this was interesting. And, you know, uh, it does seem like, you know, they are quite creative. Um, the developers behind the scenes are quite creative on this uh, project. So hats off to the team because, uh, you know, this is definitely not a um, Doge replica. The line between an L2 and own blockchain is thin. I mean, what is the difference really between Matic L2 and BSC? Both run the v the EVM. Maybe it is just Twitter, blah, blah, as the difference. Regardless, I don't care or mind. Shiba will have its own L2 soon. And, and no, we are not partnering with or have zero association with Matic as rumor boys try to spread. They are way too centralized and will always be so. The Shiba L2, Shibarium, will actually use Bone as the primary pair token, we think. The reason we are using this instead of Shiba is that Bone will have a fair and zero start in which we will not have to be concerned about overarching whale bags. But if you are a Shiba or leash holder, don't worry, your Shiba holdings will be used to yield bone at the launch of, C of Shiba Swap. So, you know, I've been accumulating my, my Shiba and uh, yeah, we're going to have the opportunity in the very near future to stake our Shiba and earn some bone. And uh, yeah, it sounds really exciting. Um, I, I think this project is actually gaining a lot of momentum and uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm along for the ride, kind of see where it goes. You know, I, I even went on to the uh, petition that they started to, uh, to list Shiba on Robinhood, even though, uh, Robin Hood is not my favorite platform. Um, I do think that the more platforms that Shiba is, um, is listed on the better, right? I mean, you know, whatever I can do to support the project and, and, uh, uh, continue to, to move the Shiba army across the world. So he goes on to say, who is going to build this? Well, I have already spoken to a very competent blockchain team who has volunteered to build and fully decentralize this for the Shiba ecosystem. Maybe they do it. If they do, then it is up to you to verify they properly decentralize it. If they don't, then maybe you can. There can never be a single source of failure or any admin it must always be donated to the Shiba God of decentralization. So his third point, uh, she, the global exchange of value for plebs. She is an algo stable coin that always pegs to one cent. We imagine this will want to be launched after the Shibarium has, has been established. We can also launch before on the ETH network and bridge over, of course. So she was starting a, a stable coin. And uh, so it looks like they're very serious about launching their own blockchain. So pretty cool. The exact structure for she is still up for debate. The most direct way is to make it a synth like done like done at uh, Uma SNX or with Dai, in which some uh, collateral is locked up in order to mint she that always pushes it back to one cent. The other way is to go about it is to study the Frax model, uh, which is fractional reserve and has a catcher coin to absorb the fluctuations in value to help maintain the peg. Which way is better or is there another way? I'm not sure. These are just starting seeds of ideas. Whatever it is, it needs to be built with care, not to rely on third-party oracles. They need to be built with fully contained, perpetual, and uh, be autonomous. My feeling about Chainlink is about the same as my feelings on Matic. The end goal is that she, operating both on Ethereum and on Shibarium, 
becomes a global stable currency that plebs across all countries are able to use as both a store of value and a method of payment. Of course, this is a challenge, and I don't know the exact answer for, but the big brain power of the Shiba, the Shiba Army, the answer will be revealed, built, donated to the community, and properly decentralized. If someone wants to put together a group with big brain power to work out the process of Shi, feel free to start a group and add me. So his fourth point, Shibarium Financial Ecosystem. In addition to Xi being added as a weighted pool pair on Curve on the ETH network, we expect a multitude of forks of the financial basis onto the Ethereum network. This includes Ave Curve Compound and, of course, Shiba Swap, to name a few. A fantastic and immutable bridge, of course, is critical to all of this. We have seen what can be done with centralized teams like BSC and Matic pushing the L2 adoption, but my opinion is the very power that let them be such fast and early movers, all centralized, also erodes any sort of long-term and eternal trust in these networks. I mean, if there is one man who can be arm-twisted to shut it down, then it is not immutable. So definitely respecting that. And so he goes on to say his fifth point here is on uh, ShibaCon. This shall start with uh, small localized meetups and then once a year, global openness willing, uh, meaning the coronavirus pandemic, if we're able to actually get to be in person, there shall be a ShibaCon in a different location. Some have recommended to follow the DevCon location and, ske uh, and schedule as many of us go there and have ShibaCon the week before, whereas others have recommended to follow our own B. Nevertheless, it has been recommended for the first three years for the sake of global inclusiveness and easily accessible location for global plebs that do not have oppressive visa restrictions that Bangkok 2022 Buenos Aires 2023 and Budapest in 2024. This is obviously uh, is much organization and growth for it to happen, but I trust the community will take this challenge upon themselves to make it happen. So Ryoshi goes on to say that this is just the beginning. Blockchain belongs to us as the Shiba army. We are an organic organism greater than any one man movement or even nation state. As our own movement, it is critical to implement the above ideas in a proper, proper way to set the proper financial foundations for the future. My vision is the core ecosystem tokens, Sheeb, Le uh, Leash, Bone, and Treat, all performing their utility while she slowly but surely becomes the immutable globalized exchange of value. Imagine a fish market vendor in Derbs accepting 330 she for his Dorado. Of course, tax fees will be minimal, none, when run on the, on the Shibarium. I give you this end vision, now built towards it. Love always, Ryoshi. So you can uh, find this uh, article on, uh, uh, you know, allhailtheshiba.medium.com or you can uh, go to Ryoshi's page on Twitter and uh, check it out. Yeah, pretty cool. So there's other, some other articles in, in here that are pretty, wor you know, worth uh, reading. And uh, so, yeah, pretty cool, man. And... Uh, Definitely some FUD flown around, so I thought this article was pretty funny. <laughs> Experts wish you, issue a warning about Shiba Inu as uh, prices surge, right? Um, nothing, there's nothing substantial in here. There's no reason to believe any of this FUD. It's just Wall Street investors uh, wanting to scare people away so they can buy up all the sheep. But I ain't selling mine, that's for sure. And, and, you know, I just keep dca and in. Just keep buying every week a little bit more, a little bit more. And uh, 
dollar cost averaging is the best way for me because, you know, uh, it gives me an average low price over time. And, uh, yeah. So before we close out on this video today, I just uh, wanted to check in on the price. Um, so, I mean, this chart looks like just about every other chart in, in the market at the moment. I mean, we're just trading sideways. We had a little bit of a dip today. <clears throat> so, looks like we dropped somewhere since the start of the crash. I mean, we were here at the peak. But I'm going to take it from down here since a uh, little bit of a parabolic top there. So right now we're down about 30% um, from where we dropped back in on March, uh, May 24th. Uh, we had a nice run up here uh, before that. Um, and, you know, back on around... May 17th, we were topping out May 16th. So right now we're down about 60%, about 57% since then. Uh, so some really great prices. Um, the rest of the market, let's just check in on Bitcoin since everything is going to kind of follow Bitcoin these days. Um, Bitcoin seems to be stable. Looks like you know, had a little bit of a decline here today. We we started to make a you know a pull out here. We, we had a nice bounce down around 30, uh, 31,000 back on May twenty third. Uh, started to gain a little price action, and then you know began a little um, began to fall a little bit today over the last couple of days, and where we fell down around fifteen percent, fourteen percent. So. Uh, nothing to be too concerned about. I mean, you know, just a lot. Of, we've got uh, Bitcoin futures and, you know, a lot of different things happening with uh, FUD coming out of China and uh, Biden with his capital tax, capital gains tax and all that. So, uh, I, you know, I, I really don't foresee any major disruptions to the market. I think we're just taking a little bit of a dip and, uh, I'm taking advantage of the lower prices these days and uh, just stocking up because uh, I feel like this is this summer is going to be a real hot summer with uh, you know having an opportunity to uh, drop down to these prices and um, pick you know pick up some steam. I also think that there was a lot of uh, folks with you know leverage traders going long and. Uh, you know, just a, you know, I feel like when anytime we get a lot of people um, leveraged in the market, just a you know high risk of um, you know serious drop offs at you know reaching, reaching parabolic runs and then going up really fast and then dumping really quick. Um, so I think, you know, the, this dip was much needed. I think, you know, this gives us an opportunity to sort of cool off and regroup and um, shake out all the, all the leveraged investors and, um, you know, build some solid footing before we um, make a run up uh, for our next leg. So that's all I got for you guys today. I just figured I'd touch base. And, uh, uh, you know, I feel like Shiba Inu is... Um, it's definitely a good project, you know, um, at least I think it is, but uh, I, I'm willing to take a chance. I mean, it looks like they're jumping into the NFT market too, which uh, obviously is hot right now. Um, I did read through their uh, white paper again today. And uh, so, yeah, you know, I definitely recommend doing your own research and, you know, Go through the uh, through the white paper here, and um, you know it gives you all about all the info you need to know about all the tokenomics and everything with the project. Um, you know they talk about how they burned half of the uh, supply by giving it to, to Vitalik Buterin, who then donated. Uh, you know, I think it was like 60 million, 60 billion dollars or something to uh, the COVID fund in India. Um, 
So, but he ended up burning the rest. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I think over the next few months, I mean, I'm sure that uh, they, you know, they're going to figure something out to keep the price moving up for folks, for loyal investors. And, uh, you know, the SHIB army is growing and, uh, you know, so I look forward to hearing some comments uh, from the SHIB army. Uh, what do you guys think? Where, where is SHIB going? And are you uh, planning on staking on the new Shiva swap when it does come out? Uh, yeah, I'd be looking forward to hearing hearing your thoughts. So with that said, I'm out. Have a good night.